So put your money on Leander in this one. The Town Challenge Cup. Leander Club B on the Barcher Station and Leander Club A on the Buck Station. Women's four. And thrashing away, trying to get an early edge there. Breakneck speed. Get as much pace in the boat as they can as quickly as possible. This will be a good battle. Like these two, they know the water so well, they know each other so well. This is uh, one that we'll watch and think, have the coaches got it all right, selection-wise, uh, bragging rights we talked about. And there's uh, some lad called Ross Hunter claiming to coach both boats. Do you know Ross Hunter at all, Mark? <laughs> Hunter? Yeah, unfortunately, I, well, I say my younger brother because he's so grey, he looks older than me. But yeah, my, my brother Ross is the, the head women or head lead coach for the women's program at Leander. Um, he's done an incredible job with the amount of talent that has come through that program and that you'll see competing at Paris. Most of the, the women's team is the athletes that he's produced through this the system he's created at Leander. And, you know, this is a tough one for him. He's got his two boats racing head to head. Um, and I'm actually going to ask him about this. Like, what do you do? What how do you kind of manage this situation? Because you've got your A and B, and I'm really interested about how he does that, so I'm going to ask him afterwards. Well, I was sitting at the Ander when these two boats went on the water this morning, and they had the usual cheers from their uh, club mates, uh, both boats equal, but, so that was nice to see. But your brother, I think, was conspicuous by his absence, so I think the way he dealt with it was took himself out the puzzle for a few moments yeah he's probably quite clever yeah no he, he is really you know calculating the way he operates and he's got as I keep mentioning he's got such a great system that he's created there and it's just producing so much talent so I'm sure you'll see these athletes progress and you'll see them in the next couple of years moving into the, the national team because that's what he seems to do he's got this kind of magic at the moment which is absolutely incredible how long has he been at the end for now quite a few years quite a few years he, he started doing some coaching at UE, that's where he started and did a bit of Leander, then he moved full-time at Leander, and then he's progressed up and, yeah, he's he's done a phenomenal job. And I don't want to make it too much about the Hunter family, but your dad, Terry, a bit of a legend on the uh, coaching circuit, and how helpful do you think that's been in terms of Ross understanding coaching and dealing with people? Because I... He knows better than you are, but your dad is an amazing people person, isn't he? And whether he's just inherited that skill. Yeah, very much so. Like you always learn from your experiences of who you're coached by, and dad's been a huge influence on not just me and Rossi, but all our friends. You know, mum and dad are like second parents to all our kind of close friends, which is which we love. Um, but yeah, you'll take all the, the things that you think you can add to your toolkit as a coach, and then how you kind of want to want to be and your leadership style of kind of getting the best out of your athletes and creating the best environment for them to perform um, and Rossi's done that by just watching different people add into his toolkit and you know he's, he's you know, I'm just you know, I'm really proud of him actually that's that's what all I can say really well let's hope these two boats don't collide and sink in the next minute or two that'll be the commentator's curse but yes he's doing a good job and watching it at the moment he's got the uh, the selection the right way around as well because Leander Club A on the Buck Station, to the left of your picture, leading against Leander Club B. They'll be having a good fight here. And the A boat is a little bit older than the, uh, the B boat, so that's probably an indication of where they are in their progression. So in the B boat, Isabel Callan is 19 years old, and so is Pippa Jameson in two seat. Then you've got 22-year-old Emma Sherwood and Sophie Chalmers and the stroke seat is 25. That's uh, a little bit younger, that boat, than the A boat, who are in front of Stewart's now and completing the job in some style in the sunshine here at Henley Royal Regatta over the finish line, Leander Club in the Town Challenge Cup. The normal order is there. And in the end, Leander Club B not too far behind. No, a great race there, um, as it should be, crew A beats crew B if the selection was done right. So obviously Rossi did a good job getting his selection process right. But yeah, a really dominant, you know, controlled performance by Leander Club A. So that will be a relief for everybody. Well done to Leander Club A in the Town Challenge Cup.